on guys welcome to backyard pit stop today we are doing uh u-joints on the duramax as you can see i got the duramax up in the air uh, i went ahead and got a head start here is the uh duramax so to get the rear drive shaft out we were 11 millimeter bolts on the straps so you go ahead and take the four 11 millimeter uh, bolts out and then once you get those out you get the straps off and then you can just kind of pry out the u-joint so you just kind of come in here with the pry bar or wherever and just kind of pry it out um, there's enough slack to where you can push the the drive shaft forward and then slide it out downwards and then once you get that freed the front is just a uh, yoke so you could just pull that out so it just pulls out I already got a head start on uh, the rear u-joint the one that goes to the um, the rear axle uh, I wasn't sure how to use this whole um, press. I got this uh, as a trade deal, or I got it as a, like it was a package deal with the, the hoist and the spring strut compressor, air compressor and all that. So uh, this thing just kind of sat in my pole barn for the past two years and it came in handy today. Uh, I watched a couple videos and everybody was using like a hammer with sockets and all that. Uh, having this thing in my shop is a blessing so let me show you guys how i did it um rear like i said the one to the rear uh axle is already done so let us uh get to doing the front one so uh to get the clips off i i, I did go ahead and get the the two other clips off of here um the the side that goes up against the rear axle only has two clips um these retaining clips so to get these clips out, um, what I have here, um, just some kind of, I've got wire cutters and a flathead screwdriver. So what you want to do is, here, let's put this retaining clip back in. So let's, let's say that's what the clip looks like. I'm going to go ahead and grab it and then kind of pry it out. And then the screwdriver just brings out one side. That way when it does go, it'll open back up. It's coming back out. There we go. And same thing with this clip. Just pry it down like that. And the clip should fall out. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this uh, pressed out on our press. Alright guys, so to get the U-bolt or the U-joint out, um, uh, what I have here is a, uh, what is this, aluminum? It looks like a, it's a slab of aluminum. Uh, I got these from when I was taking classes. We were doing some machine classes, machine shop class. I had some in my backpack for some reason. I was wondering why that bag was so heavy. Uh, anyways, and I got a 36 mil socket to kind of go on the bottom there. Let's loosen this up. Bring it back up a little bit. Okay. Tighten it back down. Make sure that it's lined up in that. So we'll go ahead and start jacking this thing down. Don't be afraid of those bangs. Okay, so that's free. Give me one second. Sorry about that, guys. My GoPro has been acting up. I don't know why. So we'll get that down until. I see the groove for the clip. Back up. All right, should be good. Yep. Now we got the do the drive shaft portion. Now to do the drive shaft portion, same thing. Except it's a little more difficult because we got uh, the whole drive shaft to be moving around. Be 
Get my caps, set them aside. Feed this into the drive shaft. This thing is just being annoying with me right now. Secure that. I'm going to press it down. Same thing. We'll press it till we see the groove for the clip. And that's good. Release. Man, this press is a godsend. I'm telling you. This thing is making this whole job a lot easier than expected. I believe this press is from Harbor Freight. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I got it as a package deal with the hoist and all that, so. Now, honestly, you could probably just pound this thing in with a, like a rubber mallet or a hammer, probably. I don't know, and like a socket, but I have this. Why not use it? Make sure that's secure. Two. See the groove for the clip, and we are solid. Release. All right, next step is to install the retaining clips. So don't get too excited like I did when you're opening up a box, because you might need some hardware that it comes with. There's that. So because this one has a grease fitting on it, you'll notice that when you get your retainer clips, uh, three of them will look like this. And one of them will look like that. And that's the one that goes on the side or on the surface that has the hole for the, um, for the grease, the grease fitting. go all around the place and then here's the side with the with the grease fitting you can see the hole where the grease fitting goes put that there that's the special retainer clip for that just press it in and then just kind of press it in until it gets in the groove. Okay. And then we just got to install the grease fitting. Uh, looks like that's a flathead screwdriver. So 
if I can just thread it by hand. All right, that's how it's done. Now let's go install the drive shaft. Before we do that, I would like to get some, uh, I don't know if I want to get some grease on here. Now I've seen a couple guys on uh, the forums do this. I don't know why, so I'm just gonna give it a try. Get some grease there. Some grease on the inside maybe. So we'll go ahead and get the yolk side in first. Just get them lined up on the splines. I should just push right in. And then on this side, that you can with a little bit of force you can spin this to where you need it and then pull the drive shaft back all right should go right in like that and then let's go grab our strap kit for our strap kit for the rear uh the rear part of the drive the rear part of the rear drive shaft the one that goes up against the rear axle um, I have an AC Delco strap kit, um, part number 450 or 45U050 or yeah, 45U0508. Um, just need one of these, so let's go ahead and open that. Should be careful with all the hardware, okay? So, for the strap kit, um what you're going to need is a 7 16 um, wrench and I, I went ahead and got myself a 7 16 socket on an extension hopefully this will work for us uh, i know the drive shaft's at a weird angle and um you want some thread locker you don't want these uh these bolts to you know get loose over time with the vibration and all that so we'll go ahead and put a dab of thread locker on these bolts that's probably overkill, but whatever. And then let's go get these threaded in. As always, I like to thread by hand. And then we can go ahead and use our uh, tools. you get it tied down with your agadaga tool you want to go ahead and hand tighten them make sure that they're pretty tight i don't know what the torque spec is on these but these are not going anywhere uh don't pull on it with your life you don't want them to break off but uh yeah we'll go ahead and secure the top ones All right, cool. Uh, drive shaft is installed. We've got uh, the four bolts here all secure. Um, I will need to stop by the hardware store to get a special grease fitting for these. Uh, these are like a different style of grease fitting and my grease gun does not support these. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's how you do it, guys. Drive shaft is installed. So here's uh, the truck with uh with the drop shackles um you know i'm not i'm not one to really dig lower trucks but the this actually doesn't look bad at all uh one thing that i do kind of like is that now this is kind of shorter so i can reach into my bed a lot better uh let's 
see. Yeah, it, it, it pretty much leveled it out. So next I, I gotta play with uh, the torsion keys and see where I'm at. It's, yeah. But yeah, I dig it. We'll drive on it for a couple days and see uh, how it feels. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video on how to do U-joints on my uh, rear drive shaft for my Duramax uh, 2500. Uh, this is a LB7, so it's a 03. I wanted to do a video on doing the U-joints in the front drive shaft. However, I am running out of time. It is getting late. I've got work early morning tomorrow. As always, thank you guys for watching. I uh, appreciate the support. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and press that bell down below. I'm you. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, so bear with me. If you have any questions or criticism or any remarks, uh, any pointers for what I did today, please feel free to comment below. I, I'm open to whatever you guys have to say. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not the most. I'm not the perfect mechanic in the world. However, I think I've got a good enough uh, amount of skills to be able to do the stuff on my own and not have to go get ripped off by mechanics or dealerships. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.